of all the contaminated buildings on the Sellafield nuclear site, this one is the greatest concern. The 60-year-old Magnox Swarf storage silo is known as Western Europe's most hazardous building. It's ageing and leaking unstable nuclear waste. Now finally, after 15 years of work, they've engineered a way to get to grips with it. A remotely operated grabber that can scoop up the waste below, assisted and maintained by a robotic arm. The levels of radiation behind the lead glass are far too high for humans. We've got a fair idea of what was tipped into the, uh, into the compartments over the last 40 or 50 years. Um, but as we go in to retrieve the waste using the sort of the equivalent of a fairground grab, um, it's a lucky dip arrangement. We get what waste we will get. It's one reason this process will take years. The other is this waste store is vast. So using this remotely operated camera, Matt here can show us the nuclear waste that's about seven metres directly below where I'm standing. And what we can see there is just what's floating on the surface of the water. Beneath that is another 16 metres or so of intensely radioactive sludge. And there's 22 compartments like this. Once removed, the waste will come to this new facility built to house the majority of Sellafield's radioactive waste. It's transported in these shielded, drop-proof containers. Boxes of waste will come down through the hatch above me onto a bogey that will then carry them down this tunnel to two and eventually eight storage vaults. And we're some of the last people to ever stand in this tunnel because once the building starts receiving nuclear waste, no humans will be able to come down here for more than a century. The vaults are concrete bunkers, each large enough to hold nearly three and a half thousand boxes stacked nine high. So how do the people who built it feel about their hard work being boxed up, never to be seen for generations? We are making the country safer and the world safer every time we take a step forward. So we do it quietly sometimes. Uh, we don't often scream from the hilltops that we do it. Today's workers may be proud, but in economic terms, the Cold War era mess left at Sellafield is a national disgrace. Cleanup is projected to cost £97 billion over the next 120 years. The government now wants new nuclear plants. Is this an industry we can trust with our energy future? It's important that Sellafield deal with these legacies of the past. Doing nothing is not an option here. This waste needs to move out of these legacy facilities. However, you do make a very good point. It's the capability that the UK has and can demonstrate that capability of managing not only design operational facilities, but decommissioning, demolition, and ultimately de-licensing. Lessons have been learned. New nuclear operators must now pay up front for future decommissioning, but questions will loom over nuclear power until there's a safe, permanent home for our radioactive waste. Tom Clark, Sky News, Cumbria.